to warn the world that a perfect sacrifice was coming. That's right. Oh, you bear in mind, they tried to get rid of their sins. Mm -hmm. They offered up lambs. But not even then could it be any type of lamb. That's right. You had to do a lamb inspection. Yeah. Had to be perfect. Perfect. Couldn't be lame. Mm -hmm. You couldn't have one eye out. Right. Couldn't be crippled. Right. Mm -mm, no, no, no. Uh, why? Because it was symbolic to a perfect offering. That's right. So when they offered the lamb and the priest will put his hands upon the head of the goat and the priest will confess his, his sins, sins and the sins of all the people upon the goat. Upon then the goat. after that a fit man will come mm -hmm. and lead the goat away. Leading the goat away represent the taking away of the sins of the people. That's right. Not that the sins actually was taken away. That's right. But it was symbolic. Symbolic. <clears throat> I just want you to hear me and follow me. Mm -hmm. God still was spirit. That's right. But sent prophets, thank God, mm -hmm. to testify of a marvelous work. That's right. That he would do in the earth. Yeah. In fact, one scripture says, a new thing, mm -hmm. hallelujah, hallelujah, will be performed the in the earth. the earth. Something new God will do. That's right. That he never done before. That's right. What was that new thing? The Bible said, a new thing shall he do in the earth that a woman shall, shall be a virgin. A woman. You better read this. In Jeremiah chapter 31, we're at verse 22. Listen. How long wilt thou go about thou backsliding? How long? Would you leave the Lord? Mm -hmm. uh, for the Lord, for the Lord has created a new thing. He gonna do something that he never done before. A new thing in the earth. It's something new. That's right. Go ahead, take God in the earth. A woman, a woman shall compass a man. Shall compass a man. That's right. <laughs> uh, That's right. She gonna compass a man, a woman. God gonna do something new. New. Go ahead, take God. All the men gonna pass right by her. That's right. None of them gonna stop at her body. That's right. None of them. Amen. Amen. So that lets you know that prophecy have things reserved. Reserved. Now blood ran down like streams. Mm -hmm. Why? Because man just offered up lambs and bullocks and heifers and turtle yeah. doves and the prophets were good. Mm -hmm. They done the will of God according to what God gave them. That's right. But the human family needed redemption. Amen. Needed to be redeemed. That's right. Needed to be connected to God. Mm -hmm. So God searched. Mm -hmm. Bible said heaven was searched. Earth searched. Earth was searched. And he even went down underneath the earth. Under the earth. They searched out and said, no man was found worthy. Right, right then. then, he let you know he was looking for a man. That's right. That's right. He was looking for a man because he said, no man was found worthy. That's right. No man so in heaven. the book. Mm -hmm. And Luke the seven seals thereof. And John said, I, I wept much. Wept much. Because no man was worthy to open the book. And one of the elders spoke to John and said, Don't cry, weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed. So God began to touch the mouth of the prophets. Right. They let them know a remedy will arise. In Isaiah 11 and verse 1. Listen at this. And it shall come forth a rod. I want to just take a travel through prophecy. That's right. About the coming of Jesus. That's right. What is it? And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse. Give chapter and verse again. In Isaiah chapter 11 and we're at verse 1. Give chapter and verse again. Isaiah chapter 11 and at the first verse. What is it? And there shall come forth a rod. There shall come forth a rod. Out of the stem of Jesse. Out of Jesse's stem. And a branch. Look at the titles. Amen. And a branch. Shall grow out shall of his grow roots. Shall grow out of his roots. And the spirit of the Lord. And. <laughs> Amen. After he get here, the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon rest him. Rest upon him. First a rod. Rod. That's right. Thank God. Uh, I have to back up, you know. Jacob, though it take God, he was uh, about to die, you know. Right. And call all his sons together. That's right. He looked at Simeon and Levi and Asher and Dan and Reuben and Issachar. And thank God, but when he got to Judah, Judah. he said, Judah, thou art he. Now, on he. And thy brethren shall praise. Glory to God. 
Uh, your brethren going to praise thine hand. Shall be in the neck of thine enemies. It's going to be in the neck of thine enemy. And thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Judah is a lion's whip. Judah is a lion's whip from the prey, my son. You're going up. He stooped down. You're stooped down. He couched as a lion. You know, any time a lion stooped down and couched, he's ready to strike. That's right. Ah! Glory to God, whenever a lion stoop down and couch, that's right. He's ready to strike. That's right. That let you know prophecy was getting closer. Amen. God was set now. That's right. I'm ready. Amen. Glory to God. I have to put things in order for men redeem redemption, and I'm ready to strike. He stooped down. Stooped down. He couched as a lion. He couched as a lion. And as an old lion. And as an old lion. Who shall rouse him up? Who shall rouse him up? The scepter shall not depart from Judah. The scepter. Shall not depart from Judah. Nor a lawgiver from between Nor his feet. Nor a lawgiver from now. Scepter mean authority. Right. Power. That's right. Huh? That's you right. know a king got a scepter, mm -hmm. a staff, which represent power and authority. That's right. That staff is also a rod. Mm -hmm. And that rod will come from Jesse stem. That's right. You know when a thing stem from you, it spring off. That's right. Huh? That's right. What did he say? The scepter shall not depart from Glory Judah. God, I hope you can get this. The scepter shall not depart from Judah. Nor a lawgiver from Nor between his feet. Nor a from between his feet until, until Shiloh come. And when Shiloh get here, what'll happen? And unto him shall the gathering of the people be. What else will happen? Binding his foal unto the vine. Wait a minute. Now, when the Son of God, Jesus, would come, whom you wrote about, mm -hmm. he will bind his foal unto the vine. Until the vine. The vine. The fold is the followers. That's right. For he said, other sheep that I had, that's not of this fold. That's right. He going to bind or gather the fold to the vine. The vine. The vine was the son of man. That's right. The vine was his flesh. That's right. He said, I am the true vine. The true vine. That's right. Eh? So when he come, he going to bind the foal unto the vine. To his body. That's right. And his ass is coat. His ass is coat. Unto the choice vine. Don't you hear him tell his disciples? You tell him, man, I would like to borrow his coat, you know. And he rode upon him. That's right. To the choice vine. Choice there vine. was a choice vine. Mm -hmm. Meaning that Jesus, the flesh, the son of God, the mediator, that body was chosen of God. That's right. It was a choice vine. Choice vine. All right. He washed his garments in wine. Wait a minute. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now he will have to wash his, his garments. garments in wine. In what? In wine. In what? In wine. And what was the wine? Read it, son. And his clothes in the blood of grapes. The wine was the blood of grapes. That's right. Now a grape grow on a vine. Mm -hmm. The vine was the body. That's right. And just like you squeeze the flesh of a grape. That's right. The great bleed. Amen. This vine had to bleed. That's right. Glory to God. Amen. But in order for them to bleed, they had to pierce them. That's right. Glory to God. Amen. Uh, and Amen. Amen. Uh, I, I, I got to backtrack some more, you know. I there said on us, child, child. Is born. Here he comes. A child is born. Is born. A child is born. born. Now. That's the arrival of the sun. Mm -hmm. Not from heaven. No. And I, you better not tell me a son of God came from there. Amen. Well, Pastor Jennings, did anything about the son of God come from heaven? Yes. Yeah. Name. Power. Power. Spirit. Right. Knowledge. Right. Wisdom. That's right. Prophecy. Prophecy. Concerning that son. Amen. Don't you know his name, Jesus, was inherited? Mm -hmm. The Son of God inherited mm -hmm. his own name. That's right. Give me the first chapter of the book of Hebrews he quickly. Hebrews chapter 1. Come on, son. You're mighty slow this morning. Amen. The Bible says what? Hebrews chapter 1 and at verse 7. What is it? And of the angels he saith, who maketh his angels spirit. Yeah. And his ministers a flame of fire. Uh -huh. Hebrews chapter... Who by inheritance he obtained... A more excellent name than the angels. Than the angels. Than the angels. Now think of this. Mm -hmm. Jesus' name is more excellent than Gabriel's name. That's right. Isn't it? That's right. Jesus' name is better than Micah. Amen. Jesus' name is better than yours. That's right. What did he say? In Hebrews chapter 1 and at verse 4. Says what? Being made so much better than the angels. Wait a minute. 
Get the language of the Bible. Being made so much Get better. Get the language of the Bible. He was what? Made. What? Made. What? Made. The Son of God was what? Made. The begotten Son was what? Made. The flesh of the Son was what? Made. The body of Mary birth was what? Made. Made. Hold that. I want to build on the word made. Amen. And let's see what was he made of. Amen. Listen. Now in Philippians chapter 2. Bible says he was made mm -hmm. of a woman. That's right. Made of a woman. In Galatians chapter 4 and at verse 4. Made of a woman. That's I right. want it to be good for every so-called apostolic church that said the Son of God was in heaven and came from heaven. Come tell me that. Mm -hmm. Say if I don't make you lick it up all the way from earth into heaven. Amen. Hmm? Listen at this. In Galatians chapter 4 and at verse 4. What is it? But when the fullness of the time was come. You see, when the right time came. God. Listen, the Spirit sent forth His Son. Where did God send His Son from? Made of a woman. No, made in heaven. Made of a woman. Made in heaven. Made of a woman. Made in heaven. Made of a woman. Come tell me the Son of God came from heaven. That's you right. see, this is a mystery that everybody don't know. Right. The Bible says, "Great is the mystery of God." In Godliness. God was manifested in the flesh. That's right. Now. God was manifested in the flesh. God did not become flesh. No, no, no. He made it, then took it on. That's right. And then manifest himself in it. In it, that's right. Why could Jesus walk on water? God was manifesting it in the flesh. In the flesh. Why could the Son of God say, Lazarus, come forth? That's right. Because God, God was manifesting, manifesting himself. That's right. In it. In the flesh. Why could he turn water into wine? Yeah. Because God the Spirit was manifesting himself in, the flesh. in it. In the flesh. Are you getting it? That's right. What did Galatia say? Made of a woman. Made. 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 made of a woman. Don't tell me the Son of God came from heaven. He was made. Made of and a woman. And the Bible give you the location where he was made. Made under the law. May when? Under the law. During what period of time? Under the law. That wasn't the law of Moses in heaven? No. Law of Moses is right here. That's right. Made of a woman? Made of a woman? Made under, under the, the law? To redeem them. Wait a minute. To redeem who? To redeem them. Where? That were under the law. That's not heaven. No. It ain't nobody in heaven need to be redeemed. That's right. It took blood to redeem. That's right. And God didn't have no blood. Amen. So God went to the house of David and got in the tribe of Judah. Thank God and made a body. After he made it, he took that body on. And the body, yeah, the body that God made was called son. Son. Prophet. Mm -hmm. Apostle. Right. Lamb. Right. God is not an apostle. No, 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 no. no, no. no. God is spirit. Mm -hmm. No man can say God the eternal spirit was an apostle. No. No, no. The flesh was the apostle. That's right. An apostle is sent. Yeah. An apostle is called. Mm -hmm. And an apostle is taught. Amen. You can't teach God. No. You can't teach the spirit. No, no. The spirit know everything. That's right. Ah! That's right. Hallelujah to God. Amen. So when you get the body, look at the titles of the body. Mm -hmm. Son of God. Son of man, lamb, mediator, prophet, apostle, messiah, sheep, stone, Amen. lower. Lower. You want to say he's called Lord? Yes. That's right. What if God talk about the Son again? In Hebrews chapter 2 and at verse 9. Says what? But we see Jesus. We see Jesus. Who was made. There you got made again. That's right. Who was what? Who was made. He was made how? A little lower. A little lower than what? Huh? Than the angels for the suffering of death. Now wait a minute. He was made a little lower than the angels. The nature of the flesh is lower than the nature of spirit. That's right. The Bible says who maketh his angels spirit. Spirits. So the nature of the flesh is lower than the nature of the spirit. Right. So God Almighty went and made a body and the body was lower, but the God that made that body was highest. That's right. Hold that and go to Luke. Luke. I want to deal with highest. And lower mm -hmm. and show you the separation of the nature of spirit 
and flesh, human and divine. That's right. Here, get this. In Luke chapter 1 and at verse 32. He shall be great. He shall be great. And shall be called the son of the highest. He shall be called the son of what? Of the highest. You can't get no higher than the highest. That's right. The flesh was called the son of who? Son of the highest. All right, then what did Paul preach? But we see Jesus who was made a little lower than the angels. He was made a little what? A little lower than the angels. And what did Gabriel tell Mary? He shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest. And what did Paul say? But we see Jesus who was made a little lower than the angels. There was something higher and there was something lower. That's right. Son of God was lower. But the spirit was, that was in highest. him, highest. Highest. Now after God got here in flesh. That's right. Notice my language. God was in flesh. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5. God was in that flesh. That's right. 2 Corinthians chapter 5. And at verse 19. And verse 19. To wit. To wit. That God. Where, where was God located? Was in Christ. Why was he in Christ, son? Reconciling the world unto himself. Wait a minute. He used that flesh so the world can get back to him. That's right. Notice the language of the book. To wit that God was in Christ. God was in Christ. Reconciling the reconciling, world. Reconciling. 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 God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Right. That's how he reconciled the world. Unto himself. And who was he pulling the world to? Himself. Who? Himself. For me to get to the spirit. That's right. I had to first accept the performance of son. That's right. That's why Jesus said, I'm the door. I'm the door. I'm the door. I am the door. I'm the mediator. That's right. If you want to get to the divine life, mm -hmm. you have to connect yourself to the natural life. That's right. So here Jesus was walking here. Human. Divine. Inner man. God. Outer man. Son. Right. Now, there was two lives there. Mm -hmm. In Mary's body. In St. John chapter 5. There was two lives in Mary's body. That's right. Here, here, here now. St. John chapter 5 and at verse 26. What is it? For as the Father. As the Father. Half life. Wait a minute, notice the language. Mm -hmm. Father half life. In himself. His life is everlasting, perpetual, without beginning, without ending. That's right. But what else did he do? For as the Father hath life in himself. What happened? So hath he given to the Son. Wait a minute. He gave the Son what? To have life. Where? In himself. You see, the Son of God life was given to him right and it was given to him by spirit god father jehovah creator that's right so when we preach jesus christ as god we ain't talking about flesh no the flesh was lower that's right Let, let's get scripture where the flesh showed you that he was lower that's right the flesh said i nothing do nothing of myself of myself of myself i can't do nothing on my own that's right i need some help that's right someone say god need help no what need help? Son of God. St. John chapter 8 and verse 28. Here, here preachers, here, hear this now. Then said, John, John 8, 28 says. Then said Jesus unto them. Then said Jesus to them. When ye have lifted up the Son of Man. When ye have lifted up the Son of Man. Then shall ye know that I am he. What? And that I. I. Do nothing. Do nothing. Of myself. I can't do nothing on my own. Nothing. And one nothing. scripture says my father has sent me. That's right. And he didn't send him from heaven. That's he sent right. him from David's house. That's right. Mm -hmm. Come on. And that I do nothing of myself. I know. But as my father hath taught me. As my father taught me. I speak these things. Now wait a minute. Nobody teaches God. Mm -hmm. God knows all things. That's right. But that flesh had to be taught by the Spirit, mm -hmm. led by the Spirit, mm -hmm. instructed by the Spirit. St. John chapter 14 and verse 28. Says what? You have heard how I said unto you, uh -huh. I go away. I go away. And come again. If ye love me, ye would rejoice. Yeah. Because I said I go unto the Father. Yeah. But my Father. My Father. Is greater. Is better. Than I. Than I. That's right. Greater. Here he's talking about the spirit is greater or greater. better or superior to his body. That's right. After God made that body, that body wasn't greater than God. No. God was greater than that body. St. John chapter The body sleep. Right. God don't sleep. That's right. Hmm? That's right. 
God don't sleep. No. Tell us here, Pastor Jennings, what about the scripture that says the word was made flesh? First John. First John. Or rather, St. John. John chapter 1. Chapter 1. I'll break that down because a lot of you dumb apostolic preachers say that means God became a man. No, it don't mean that at all. No, no. No, God remained God. That's right. Uh-huh. All right, come on. St. John chapter 1, we'll start at verse 1. All right. In the beginning was the word. In the beginning, God used words or speech to bring creation into existence. And the word was with God. The word was with God, meaning he's a God of his word. That don't mean no son was with him. No. Because he was out there alone. He said, there is no God with me. That's right. There is no God before me, neither shall it be after me. That's right. Uh -huh. And the word was God. The word was God. The same was in the beginning the with God. The same was in the beginning with God. Down at verse 14. All right. And the word. The word. Was made flesh. And after the word made flesh, what did the flesh do? And dwelt among us. You see, God used word. Word. To make flesh. That's right. In other words, he spoke it into existence. That's right. That's why the prophet's been prophesying. Mm -hmm. But thou Bethlehem Ephrathah, though thou may be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come unto me, that is to be ruler in Israel, whose going forth has been from old to everlasting. Right. Even the Son of God let you know that the spirit that made him was here before him. That's right. Take right. God here, they got into a conversation, you know. And he told him to Abraham. You better read that Saul my day. St. John chapter and 8. And was glad. That's right. Listen. St. John chapter 8, we're at verse 55. What is it? Yet ye have not known him. Uh -huh. But I know him. I, look at here. Here's the spirit. Here's the son of man talking about the eternal God. That's right. That was in him. That's right. He told them what? Yet ye have not known him. You but, don't know him. But I know him. But I know him. And if I should say I know him not. And if I say that I don't know him. I shall be a liar like unto you. That's your problem, viewers. That's right. You don't know him. That's right. You don't have a clue who he is. Amen. That's why you got him the second person in the Godhead. Right. You don't know who he is. That's right. You got flesh and blood coming from heaven. You don't know who he is. No, no. Come on, Simon. Yet you have not known him, but I know him. Uh -huh. And if I should say I know him not, I shall be a liar like unto you. Yeah. But I know him. I know him. And keep his saying. And I keep what he's at. Your father Abraham. Uh oh. Look at what Jesus is about to toss at them now. Amen. Your father, Abraham, rejoiced to see my day. He got happy. And he saw and it. And he rejoiced to see my day and... And he saw it. He what? And he saw it. You mean to tell me Abraham met Jesus? He saw it. And how did, was he, how did he feel about it? And was glad. Oh. He ain't never said he saw the Son of God. No. No, no. So I say what he said, he saw Jesus, that meant he saw the son. Ah, 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 ah. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day. He saw my day. <laughs> That's right. And he saw it was what? And was glad. Well, how was the people responding? Then said the Jews unto him, thou art not yet 50 years and old. And let you know they was checking his flesh out. That's right. Sometimes you can determine how old a man is by looking at his flesh. That's right. They were checking his flesh out. And that's what made them say, you, you're not, not yet 50, 50 years old. old. You don't look quite that old. That's right. You don't look that old, Jesus. Thou art not yet 50 years old. You ain't yet 50 years old. And that was the truth. That was the truth. That was the truth. That's right. Because he started his public ministry, I believe the Bible said, about the age of 30. Amen. You're not yet 50 years old, and, and what? And hast thou seen Abraham? Even they know Abraham been dead hundreds right. and hundreds and hundreds of years. Then said the Jews unto him. And then said the Jews unto him. Now we know that thou hast a devil. Abraham is dead. You see, Jesus was preaching a mystery. That's right. They were looking at the body. That's right. Jesus wasn't looking at the body. No, no. You see, being that God was in that body, God can talk through that body, and then the body can talk. That's right. So here, God a talk, and when God talk, he talk, he can go back further than everything. That's right. And because the people was kernel minded, they didn't know when God was talking or when the man was talking. That's right. And just like the people was then, it's the way you preachers are now. Amen. You don't know. Don't know. Hallelujah to God. Then what said the said? Jews unto him. Then said the Jews to him. Thou art not yet 50 years old. You ain't yet 50 years old. And hast thou seen Abraham? Talking about you seen Abraham? Jesus said unto them. Uh oh. Now Amen. the flesh will back out of it. That's right. Flesh back out. Amen. 
Then Jesus said to him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, What? Before Abraham was. Before Abraham was. I am. I dare, listen, I dare you viewers to tell me the Son of God was before Abraham. Right. The Son of God could not be before Abraham because he took on the blood of Abraham's house. That's right, in the book of Hebrews. You can't be before Abraham. He needed blood from Abraham's house. In the book of Hebrews chapter 2. And you better give me Romans chapter 1. In Hebrews chapter 2, first and at verse 16. That's what? For verily he took not on him the nature of angels. You see, he didn't take that nature on. He had it already. That's right. The Bible said, who maketh his angel spirit, the nature yes. of God is spirit, perpetual, eternal. Right. But what did he do? For verily he took not on him the nature of angels. But, what? but he took on him the seed of Abraham. He took on the seed of what? Of Abraham. The seed of what? The seed of Abraham. All right, give me Romans chapter 1. Mm -hmm. Begin at verse 1. Romans chapter 1 and at verse 1. Listen at Paul, this. a servant of Jesus Christ, uh -huh. called to be an apostle. That's what you need. An apostle. You need an apostle to unravel these scriptures. That's right. You get in there and go in that Bible, you make a mess of it. That's right. That's why you blind fellas talking about flesh and blood in heaven and flesh and blood come from heaven and three gods in heaven. And you, you get balled up over those scriptures. That's right. You need an apostle, one that walk with Jesus, talk with Jesus, and he handled Jesus. Amen. Someone said, did you handle Jesus? Yes. That's when? Right. I'm handling him right now. Amen. Yeah. Right now. Right now. Jesus said the word that I speak unto you, they are spirit. spirit. And when I handle that word, I'm handling Jesus. That's right. What did he say? Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, uh -huh. called to be an apostle, what is it? separated unto the gospel of God, uh -huh. which he had promised afore by his prophets yeah. in the Holy Scripture. What is it? Concerning his son. All right. This is the subject. Mm -hmm. Concerning his son. His son. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Which was made. Which was what? Which was made. Now. I dare you to tell me that Mary birthed spirit. Amen. Mary wasn't the mother of spirit. No. It was the spirit that overshadowed Mary. That's right. And it was the spirit that created the holy thing in Mary. That's right. You see, the Son of God was the thing. That's right. The holy, the holy thing. thing. Mm -hmm. It was the holy thing. Holy thing. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. What is Concerning it? his son, Jesus Christ our Lord. What? Which was made of the seed of David. And what part of him came from David's seed. According to the flesh. No, according to the spirit. According to the flesh. According to the spirit. To the flesh. That flesh was made. That's right. He was of the seed of David according to the flesh. According to the flesh. 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 Mm -hmm. Flesh. And declared to be the son of God. His flesh was declared to be what? The son of God. His flesh was what? Declared to be the son of God. His flesh. According to the flesh. Dare you to tell me that stuff came from heaven. That's right. God Almighty went to David's house and got a virgin that never knew a man formed the fashion. And that fashion was a shape. That shape was God formed, God fashion, God figure, God image. It was the similitude of man. And that body came in the likeness of sinful flesh. Not that it had sin, but it was in the likeness of sinful flesh. And that flesh was made by the creating power of his word. That's what it means. The word was made flesh. That means the flesh came here because God spoke it here. That's Not right. that the flesh was God but God was in the flesh and the flesh was a covering God was in there hiding hiding that's right how they said thou art a God thou art a God that hidest that thyself hide. hidest thyself he hid himself oh God of Israel glory, glory, glory to God you see that flesh was called a lamb that's right. John said behold the lamb of God within the lamb was a lion that's right couldn't see the lion mm -hmm. because the lamb kept him camouflaged. Amen. Hide, yeah. hide us. Spirit of God healed, baptized, Amen. and done all this work through, through that man Christ Jesus. That's right. Jesus was walking around here. God was in him. Mm -hmm. So when we preach Jesus as God, no, that flesh was not God. No. That flesh had the title God. That's right. But the spirit was God in that body. That's it. Now it come time for the man to die. Mm -hmm. And I want you apostolics to get this. St. John 3.16. First John. epistle of John 3.16. Mm -hmm. St. John chapter 3 and verse 16. Because you preachers have said God died. Right. How foolish. Oh, how does he? Mm -hmm. how, how, how backwards? How backwards? God died again. Let's first establish 
the nature of God. St. John, John 4, verse 4, 24 says, God is a spirit. You got to keep that in mind. That's right. God is a spirit. Do you hear that? Amen. All right, now. 